fragrance fuckers. I'm going to a concert. I'm going to see Brian Adams at the uh, Canterbury Cricket Ground this afternoon evening. So I'm just about to head off and um, get the train down there. Going to have a couple of desperados on the train. And I just thought I'd share with you my musings and how I go about choosing my fragrance for such things as concerts because I think that that is your opportunity to go hard. Go hard or go home. So I've picked out a few of my fragrances which I consider to be quite beastly. Not necessarily all beast mode exactly, but they're strong and they last. So um, I haven't decided, I'm actually going to decide live on camera. So let me start with my first option. I have not actually given this a proper wearing. It's Rien the Intense Incense. I used to have a bottle of Rien. Um, this is the intense one. And it is ridiculously strong, super strong. I mean, Rien is intense enough without making a Rien, Rien intense. But um, I'm not sure. Because also what matters and what we don't talk about often is how we feel. And I just don't know if I feel like wearing that. I think I might feel like that in a colder weather. Today is fairly warm but cloudy. So I feel like that is not going to be today's choice. It's a lovely, uh, it's like a citrusy, really strong incense, sweet, powdery, little bit of leather. Goes on and on and on and on and on like me. So, okay, we're not doing that. Here's another choice. Le Maroc Port L. I've not worn that one for a while. Now, this is a beast. Um, Mr. Tower did confirm that it is stronger than a, a normal EDP. It's more like an extract. It behaves like a, a monster, but in the best possible way. That is a contender. It's really sweet. It's got beautiful incense in the background. It's got spices. Um, I'm not sure, it's like a labdanum, it's got lots of, uh, lots of base notes that are really gooey and sticky and lovely. The dry down on this, you've got to wait for it, the dry down is something else. So this is in the running, that's in the running. Put that there. What else have we got? Dark Amber and Ginger Lily off of Jo Malone. I get pencil sharpenings from this. I mean loads of other stuff as well. But the pencil sharpening is exactly like you've sharpened a colouring pencil. It's even got the like the, the scent of the coloured pencil. Um, it's woody, it's warm and spicy. It, I've got quite a lot of compliments whenever I've worn that. But I still feel right now that that's going to be the one I want to go for. So I'm popping that to the side. And now I'm going to show you this beauty. Which one is it? It is Queer Beluga, darlings. Queer Beluga. Now this is more subtle. It's still really strong. It reminds me of old books in the best possible way. Vanillic old paper. There's so much more going on than that. It's basically a woody vanilla. It's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. And it is strong and it lasts and lasts and lasts. So it, it's in the running, I'm popping that next to Le Maroc Pot L. And then I've only got one more to show you, which is my beloved Tobacco Rose. And this is perfect for such an outdoor event because it is so strong, it lasts and lasts and lasts. It has got that kind of smoky, incense -y kind of thing going on in there. And lots of layers of beautifulness. It starts and it, um, and it changes and changes and changes. So it is so nice to wear. Because I'm, you know, I'm going out now at like half past three. I won't be home till midnight. And I'm going to just get different things from this. So, Christ almighty, what the fuck am I going to do? So we, I'm going to go between those three. And all it's going to come down to is the fact that I've not worn this one for a little while. So I'm actually going to go with the tower, Le Maroc Port L. And here we go. Look at the colour of this as it lands 
I'm not sure if you can see. Um, I'm going to go uh, fairly beast mode uh, with, yeah, there's, there's the colour of it, you see. Just going to dab that away. I'm going strong because, you know, we're outdoors and there's going to be so much smells and sounds and everything going on. I'm going to compete with those fuckers. I'm going to stand out in the crowd. And that is what these fragrances all do. They make you stand out in the crowd. This is so sweet and spicy. And it's almost like the, a tiny bit of a bubble gum kind of note, which I think is coming from the jasmine. But it's later on when the magic happens. It, it, trust me, if you haven't got your nose on this one yet, then you know you really have to don't just smell it in the shop and walk away because it's the dry down you need to wait at least two hours before you get that beautiful sticky woodsy amazingness that comes through so anyway I'm going I'm gonna go and watch Brian Adams <laughs> um, yeah it's uh, a little bit random but I'm really looking forward to it and with my good friend Cheryl who will also be smelling amazing because she has fabulous taste in perfume so off I go have a great Saturday night people